Hi everyone! I was not planning on doing an entire dedicated video for the new Cezanne lookbook. I already have a video scheduled for tomorrow, which is the try-on and review of their collaboration collection with Pangea. But I just spent my entire morning perusing the lookbook, trying to build a strategy. What am I getting? What am I skipping? And I do really want to hear your thoughts on this new Essentials collection. So let's go over it. Honestly, I am surprised that we are seeing collection this big released before the archives. I thought that the Pangea collaboration is the star for January and then we were gonna go into archives, but this is Cezanne. They like to change things up on us. And here we are, we have the Essentials collection. The first picture right away, I mean, I love a striped top. This one looks like it's really well designed. The gold detail, it's something that I'm a huge fan of. You know, I don't like basics that look too basic. I do prefer pieces that have character and this striped top, for example, I think it has character and it's simple, it's versatile, but it's interesting at the same time. It doesn't look like the cloth bag is gonna step away <laughs> and uh, give the scene to a new bag design. I think there are quite a few new colors coming from the cloth and I already have two cloth bags, so I don't know. I feel like two are enough. At the same time, I do like a new color. First favorite piece that I already saw in teasers on Instagram is this Auguste jacket. It's part jacket, part cardigan. I love the colors. I love that you have these buttons that also pop. They look like gold to me. I am a little worried if this is too cropped, but I think that will be one of the pieces that I am going to try. More loafers. I love loafers. Not getting new loafers. I already have three pairs that are very comfortable that I love. Two Vicky loafers. I have the black and the white. And I have a pair from M. Gammy that's a really deep chocolatey brown. And I think between the three, that's, that's enough for now. Moving down, this shirt is really feminine. I'm seeing a lot of denim. One thing that I always wonder for their jeans is that a lot of the jeans are called trousers. And if anyone knows why a lot of Cezanne jeans are called trousers, please let me know because to me, this is clearly denim <laughs> slash jeans. I love the Amy Chunky loafers. I love how much presence they have. Again, if I didn't have a brown loafer, I would totally go for these. So nice. The jacket, the Carlo jacket in this blue that has lavender tones in it is really spring forward. I love how it looks with jeans. I think it will be really easy to throw over other pastels as well and have that really beginning of the year blossoms, springtime feel. And the trend reports all say that we are going to see a ton of pastels. Also, let me know if you want me to create a video for the trends that we're going to see everywhere this new year. I don't think that we should blindly follow trends, but I do think that it allows us to plan our wardrobes better. So I've never done one before. Let me know in the comments if I should do one because I do take notes for my personal, <laughs> for my personal reasons. More Claude. I do love the blue Paula babies. They are really nice. I finally, after weeks of refreshing managed to get the Paula in the red purple color which to me is just like a very deep burgundy I love them I haven't worn them out yet but they are so darling I really like that the mom trousers which to me I think that reads like mom jeans and I love mom jeans I have mom jeans from Everlane and from some other brands I really like that look. 
we see more beanies and more scarves after all i do live in california and and the coastal part where we don't have snow and i'm kind of getting over all the the beanies and scarves but a lot of parts of the world still very much need a good cozy um, accessory so i understand that this blue color is everything i mean huge fan i do like the Ammons cardigan i have the pink one and this blue it suits the color suits the cut very very well the manu trousers i have the manu trousers in beige they are really nice they are a little low rise for my taste i wish they were higher but the cut is really nice and the pants it looks like as jeans they do look really really good i see a little peak of yellow over here it is not listed this bag it is a mini faro of sorts a very beautiful shade of yellow maybe part of the spring collection maybe a surprise item I, I do really like it moving down it's a lot of this blue they're definitely highlighting it these earrings are very beautiful another trend report for 2024 is statement jewelry especially gold this plaid shirt at first i thought this is an october editions piece but i guess it is a cezanne piece really cool really versatile kind of casual the color story is just gorgeous this classic milo in taupe oh i love the color I'm just imagining this taupe color in the textured cloth. If it comes out, I'm in real trouble because, oh my, <laughs> I'll definitely cave and get it. This set will sell out really quickly, in my opinion. The Maxence jumper and Wazare trousers. I already saw that they teased a Rio where this lady that's pregnant is wearing it and she looks so chic and so comfortable at the same time. And again, you have like cute details like the buttons on the shoulder. The purple of the clogs is really nice and we know that this purple is also gonna trend. There will be a clawed bag in this exact color. The purple goes really good with the green. I do like that they've put the two pictures close so you can kind of start forming ideas of color combos that you want to explore in the new season a huge fan of the angie cardigan i do have it i don't think i'm gonna get another color but this one is is definitely a beautiful one looks really nice with the blue and it will look really good with browns and camo tones the katrina dress looks really good with the paula babies i mean so cute this floral print very spring um i actually really like this jacket and when i saw it i was like oh god stop me because i don't need any more jackets but this one's really fun i create a lot of content for a living and this one will photograph and film so well because of the nice colors and you have like an interesting texture that's not too much in your face at the same time. So this is a very good piece to wear in my content. So I'm very tempted to try it. It looks really nice and light and perfect for spring. And this print, we're gonna see cardigans in it. I think there were more pieces. I think there's a, you hear this have a skirt a felix i love felix i have two felix i can't get any more felix jumpers but it's such a great everyday piece that you can dress up dress down just throw it on and be comfortable florence shirt looks good and this new dress the rosella oh it looks really nice too i wonder what it looks like from the back and I know that's a question and an answer that I might not get even when it's released because sometimes they don't include the product from all angles very curious about it a little bit early in the year for it even in California I feel like you can wear it but maybe with a sweater over Paula babies I am now fan of them 
there is a new pair of Mary Janes. We're going to see it further down. And that one looks really good as well. It's pretty sporty. Sequin. Sequin is another trend. And shimmer in general is something that we're going to see a lot of in 2024. Metallics and sequin. Not necessarily for evening wear. You can see here it's styled in a way that you can wear it during the day. And I think that that is a response to the trend. This dress, the white one in the middle, the Amandine, is going to sell out very fast. It's really, really cute. More colors for the basil. I love the basil. I have the khaki green. Highly recommend it. Boots. Jumpsuits. I did go through a jumpsuit era back in the day. I have so many jumpsuits. Oh, here they are. These babies are very nice. I expect them to come out in multiple colors. So if the babies are something that you like, but you don't like that they're open at the back, this is a good alternative. The height of the heel looks good. I am curious to find out if this uh, type of leather is going to require some break-in. I think sometimes the shiny leather at the back is a little bit more stiff, which is something I really like about the Paula babies is like it is a shiny leather but it's open at the back so no blisters very important I walk a lot I need my shoes to, to be appropriate for walking moving down I really like the Noemi pumps in gold I have them in brown more versatile than the gold although gold is quite versatile I love the brown and I'm excited to see it in gold because maybe that means that we're going to see other cool colors. Like I would love a blue for these shoes. A blue like the new Paula babies. Mm. We'll buy it in a heartbeat. Moving down. Very nice. Another Richie coat. I like the Richie. I have the plaid wool one and that one is like a statement it's cozy it's fun we keep seeing it over and over i'm very surprised that they're bringing so many iterations of it i mean it's a great piece it is lined it is quite warm i just i never know which piece we're going to be seeing on repeat and which one is a one-off it's i i would love to hear like what's the thought process behind like at the Cezanne office why certain pieces are brought in so many fabric varieties and why some other ones are just one-offs. The matter coat in this, I think, blush color, like a very, very faint pink, is also really dreamy. I love light pink. It is a weakness of mine and style with the taupe over here. It kind of brings that pinkness to a more elegant place and it moves it away from the Barbie core that we saw last year. This is feminine and, and there is a reference to Barbie. Pink will always be a reference to Barbie, but this is like the very elevated version of it, I think. And I do like the peak of the green shoe. What a great, what a great styling choice. Christy jacket. I do love the Christy. This whole look and the trouble. Do you see what I'm seeing? I'm pointing. I forgot you guys can see me point, but a croc white clod. Mm, I love my croc burgundy clod. And I would, if I get another clod, which I'm trying not to, but if I do, I will get another croc. So I'm curious to see how many croc new colors are coming. Dangerous. Scholar story is very nice. This scholar story here is very nice. I love it. Again, it's kind of like a beige taupe and like a light denim. Very beautiful. The Ammons cardigan over here in this color. Chef's kiss. And the gray. I think this particular shade of gray is really, really excellent. I. I'm not even a fan of gray this past season. However, I added a few pieces to my wardrobe and I ended up wearing them so much. This particular shade of gray, I'm a huge fan. Every single piece like this dress, this basil cardigan, 
great. I, I really, really like it. Again, the styling of every photo is just so nice. So easy. It's kind of like capsule wardrobe, but it still has characters. Characters. Character. One of my pet peeves for capsule wardrobes is when they don't have any character, when it's just too much like uniform. Not a fan of that. Ooh, these fisherman sandals I really like. The black, I think, is a little bit too dark for me. But if they come out in another color, something lighter, like a light camel, I would try that. We have another new Betty. The Betty cardigan is... We have it in so many colors. Then more sporty pieces. I, I do think, you know, when... They sent, Suzanne sent back um, like, a, like a survey a couple of weeks ago. And one of the questions was, what do we want to see more from the brand? And one of the things on there was a sports line. So I do wonder if they're going to release like yoga pants and like really sporty pieces. Maybe. I'm still waiting for the um, makeup to be released. I do really want to try it. I know that some people are getting samples. I want to get samples. <laughs> I want to try it. Very excited over here for the wool jacket in suede in khaki. I love the suede wool. I have the camel color. It is not, a lot of people ask me if it's like a very high maintenance. Not at all. I don't do anything to mine. I even have worn it in the rain. Not that I planned to wear it, but I was out and it rained. And I was worried that the whole suede uh, surface is going to have spots. It did not get spots. And this is such a great new color. Love, 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 love the suede well. The Henny Milo is very nice. This uh, Tobias jumper also really nice with this honey brown. Obsessed with this. Andy cardigan. I feel like I have a version of this uh, from another brand and I have a vintage fisherman's cardigan that looks a lot like this. It is a piece that I think everyone can integrate in their wardrobe. I'm obsessed with it. It will take a lot of will for me not to get it and it will be a repeat piece although it will have like something different. It's just I love it. I know I can wear this cardigan so much. Kind of reminds me of the Brie jumper a little bit, don't you think? Like the the way the sleeve is. Mm. Definitely a favorite. A coup de coeur. Isn't that what the French, if you're French, tell me if that, that's a, a right place to say oh, that this is my coup de coeur. New suede jacket. When I first saw the picture of this jacket, the Fiona jacket, it was a closed jacket and I thought, oh, these buttons will be very hard to open and close. But now I'm seeing that it's a tic tac button and mm, great decision. I really like this one. It's very nice. And I do like the matching pants, although I do think that together it's a little bit too much of that brown, like over here. It, it is still really chic. Mm, I do like it. I love suede. I have. Um, the will and I have suede shorts by Cezanne and I have a suede skirt I love all the suede I, I do when I wear it it's kind of like I, I like to touch it this shade of brown obsessed and this skirt is gonna be a wrap skirt I've seen pictures of it and mm, I, I, I love this particular shade of brown a lot the Albane loafers, chunky, burgundy color. Mm, so nice with like a burgundy back. Denim, of course, like a long sleeve dress, really easy to style. This over here also looks like a new color of the wheel jacket. It's, it's not the shade of wheel that I have. It looks very yellow. Hmm. Maybe two new wheel suede's. I think they should make it in this kind of suede, like a blue. That would be very pretty. And that is it. That is all the previews that are released so far. 
be aware there will be secret surprise pieces. They always are. I'm really excited. I love this collection. I think it's it's what people really love about Cezanne. It's very wearable, it's very versatile and really, really timeless. All right, everyone, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the new Cezanne Essentials collection? Which pieces are your favorite? What are you buying? What are you skipping? I want to know. Don't forget, tomorrow I have another video coming to my channel and that will be the try-on and review of the Cezanne and Pangea collaboration pieces. Very excited about that one. If you enjoyed watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Have a wonderful day and see you next time.